Hello guys, my name is Guillaume and welcome to a new episode of Hit The Tone. Hello guys, I hope you're doing fantastic today and welcome to this new episode of Head the Tone on Tom Hans Guitars and Basses. If you're new here, what I do is take famous bits of songs and try to give you all the tools you need to hit the tone. It is a recommendation based format, so whatever song you want to see here, please put it down in the comment section and I'll get to you as soon as I can. While you're down there, if you can consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, that would be wonderful. Thank you so much in advance. And without further ado, let's start with today's song, which is Hammer to Fall by Queen. You guys have been asking for Queen for ever, as soon as the format started, to be honest, so I thought it was time to, uh, to get into it. Chose Hammer to Fall because that's one of my absolute favorite riffs by Queen, and also because I'm unable to play any lead from Queen. I'm gonna be fully honest with you on this one. It is very well known that Brian May is using the guitar that he built with his father when he was a teenager, known as the Red One. Either the original, which I think is by now retired, or one of the many renditions and copies and whatnot that have been made of that legendary guitar. I don't have one today. I know Harley Benton does one and it's not in stock at the moment. So I'll put it in the link in the description box down below if you want to check it out. Maybe by the time the video comes out, it will be again. But essentially it's just a three single coil guitar with a little bit more going on with the controls. But as per usual, I'll be using my Fender Stratocaster for that song and I will be in the bridge position for that very sound. <laughs> Sweet, sweet, sweet sound. And we're gonna see how we got there with our amp and pedal setup. Brian May is one of the most famous players of Vox AC30s. He's actually, he's actually one of the first guys to sort of popularized that sort of setup. He was inspired by Rory Gallagher, obviously, and his rig consisted of hot-rodded or at least high-powered Vox AC30s, a lot of them, and being pushed by a treble booster, a range master, if I'm not mistaken. That said, this is an incredibly hard tone to get from that setup because it needs to be crazy loud and I'm definitely not doing it in that room. Before you start judging me, this is the wrong amp, this is the wrong, th I know, I, f I fully know. And I'm very sorry about that, but if you have a Vox AC30 and a treble booster and the ability to crank both of these things, go for it. This is the sound. This is, this is it. That being said, if you don't have all of that, you can very well use a pedal. There are many pedals on the market that are meant to emulate this legendary sound that is the cranked Vox AC30 being pushed by some sort of treble booster. And that's the case with what I'm using today, and that's the Galileo by Catalin Bread Effects. This pedal does exactly what it says on the box that is specifically made to sound like Brian May and it does a really good job. I'll be running that pedal into my Fender Hot Rod Deluxe Tweet Edition as per usual. The controls will be on your screen for the sake that it's just a really good pedal platform. So I'm gonna turn that pedal on and again, that's my sound. <laughs> Also forgot to mention that I'm using a little bit of the amps reverb because as you guys know, for any song that's been recorded somewhat before the year 2000, let's pull that as a, as a arbitrary rule there, the miking techniques were usually vastly different and there was not as much close miking as what we're doing nowadays and what I'm doing today. So just to reintroduce that sense of space into the sound, I'm using a bit of reverb and that's a fairly nice trick for anything. If you're playing anything from the 60s, 70s, 80s, that usually applies to all of that stuff. But with all of that said, we've got our guitar, our setup, let's jump onto the final part of that video, which as usual is the most important and is how to play the song. Okay, this riff is 
super cool because it's not that complicated. There is a little bit of a trick to it and I'm going to start with that. I'm going to show you the position of my left hand on my fretting hand but because it's hard to show you exactly what that is on camera, please keep in mind that you have to let the A string resonate throughout all the chord positions. They all start from the D string down but the A string resonates throughout the entire riff and your fretting hand should look something like this. As I said, not too intricate. You might have to learn to play the, the chord shapes, like the, the D shape uh, with your fingers like that if you're not used to it, with the thumb sort of wrapping around the neck. But other than that, it's fairly simple. But that A string resonating throughout really adds a lot to that sound. So keep that in mind. Now let's have a look at the picking side of it. <laughs> Obviously, we have to mention that any Queen song has to be played with a coin. That is the trademark of Brian May. And whether you believe in that or not, it does change the sound quite drastically, to be honest. Now, this is not the right coin. I, I haven't been to England in a long time. I don't have the right coin to play that. It is a five cent. And after long deliberations and tryouts on different Euro coins, uh, this is definitely the most Queen sounding. Play with a coin, it does add a lot of like brightness and sort of sharpness to the, to the picking, a lot of attack. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And on these words, I think that's it guys. You have all the tools you need to hit the tone on Hammer to Fall by Queen. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope maybe you learned something. And if so, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel it helps me a great deal. Don't forget to go check out the description box down below for the links to everything that I'm using today, some more recommendations. And on that, I wish you a fantastic week and I'll see you next Monday in a new episode of Hit the Tone. Mm -hmm.